All right, so we're back on 91.5 Real Talk Sports with uh, Jared Lauren, who's going to fight on an NEF card, number, fight night number four. How you doing, Jared? Good. How you doing, Jamie? Not too bad. So let's first and first, like I know you, I've trained with you, Jared, hell of a competitor, and you know what? I heard that you're going to be on a fight night. I had to get you on, help you guys promote the fight, and uh, get a little uh, content for the show here. Uh, first and foremost, let the people know, how did you get in? Get into MMA and uh, fighting in general. Uh, I've been training martial arts my whole life. I started training with my father, who black belt in Taekwondo. Um, so I grew up doing, you know, kickboxing and that type of stuff. Uh, got into jujitsu almost five years ago now. Um, been a very active competitor. Just won the Nogi Pan Ams uh, last month. I've won some big tournaments this year. Um, Started competing MMA um, about a year after I started doing jiu-jitsu. Won King of the Cage, which is a pretty big tournament down in Florida. And, uh, oh, cool. You know, so I've just been focused a lot on jiu-jitsu and competition jiu-jitsu, but um, I really started pursuing the, the mixed martial arts a lot more in the last year or so. Got you. So your whole life into into uh Martial arts, you love martial arts, love training, love competing, I get that. But what, what made you want to step into the ring and actually, you know, get your face pounding in or pound somebody else's face in? For me, there's no, uh, man, there's no bigger challenge, you know, to, to stand in there and, and go toe-to-toe with somebody you know that's out there that is training as hard as you, you know, wants it just as bad as you, um, to get in there and, and you know, have that, that mental aspect, you know, to overcome that challenge, to overcome your anxieties, your fears, your, you know, everything, you know what I mean? It's about, right. about the whole thing for me, about the training camp, everything, just putting it all together and, and, and coming out on top, you know, I mean, there's no, there's no better feeling. So you actually like training camp. You probably the only few people out here that actually like train camp. I love it, man. I, I live it. You know, we, I have a gym. I have my own gym. My wife trains, and it's my whole life. You know, it's that's all I do. You know, that's. So I actually leads leads to the next question. So I right, you've been you've been uh, you've been training your whole life. You've been to martial arts. When you told your family that you want actually you actually actually wanted to step into the ring. What were they their conversations with you or their reactions or response? Uh, you know, they all they all know. They they don't mind the jujitsu so much. They had uh, they had some hesitations with the with the cage, but you know, it is what it is. And my family's always been very supportive, uh, so they have my back a hundred percent. And you know, I couldn't I couldn't be as successful as I am without the support of of my family. You know, so I really had to thank them for a lot of my success as well. Very good. So, um, what do you, you know, you you answered a little bit about that that you uh, that you have a wife and you and you have a child. So, what what do you do when you're not when you're not fighting or training? What do you, what is uh what do you do? For, what's your other passion when 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 you're not fighting and training? What does Jerry Lauren do? <laughs> uh, I rest. I eat and I I rest <laughs> so I can get up and train harder the next day. It's a lot of commitment, man. You know, it's uh, trying to run run an academy, and you know, we just opened up shop a few months ago. So, go ahead, plug plug your gym, Jared. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, my 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 gym is called uh, Innovative Athletics, um, iabjj dot com or Innovative Athletics on Facebook. You can check us out. Uh, we got a lot of really good things going on here in Augusta, Augusta, Maine, and it's. You know, I mean, we're training hard, working hard. We got some good competitors already. Uh, one of my students, also Rob Van Adestein, is fighting on the on this card as well. Um, Very nice. Really tough guy. So you know, we're we're looking forward to to uh, you know really making a name for ourselves, not only Maine but on a national scale as well. Um, so I mean, yeah, my my whole life right now is the uh, and see. It's either competing or it's trying to build my business and and get our name out there. Very cool, very cool. Um, so obviously you have a Taekwondo background. I just found that out about you, but you have a very good BJJ background. What would you consider your style as a fighter? Um, you know, my passion is is the grappling. You know, the 
the ground game and the wrestling. And um, But I've been training my striking really, really hard the last few months. Um, and, you know, I, I feel confident about getting in there and, and uh, throwing some punches. So, <laughs> you know, okay. I, I'm always, you know, it's always, you're always going to go where you feel comfortable, you know, and I feel very comfortable on the ground. But, you know, I, it doesn't matter where this fight goes at, at this point. You know, I feel I feel great at it on every aspect, on every level. So, do you have someone that you emulate, or if if it, do you have someone that you emulate or a favorite fighter to pattern your style against? You know, it's like one thing I've learned is training with so many different people and so many high level guys. Is you kind of try to take a little piece from from everybody. You know what I mean? Nobody has one answer. Nobody has all the answers. You know what I mean? So it's like, True. you know, you try to take one thing that, you know, this guy does and it really fits into your game and you can kind of mold it and make it yours. Um, you know, and that's, that's what I try to do. I mean, it's, you know, and, and when you're, especially for something like this where you're preparing for just one fighter, you know, and you have the opportunity to study that fighter um, study his game and set up a game plan. Um, it's a lot different than a, you know, a BJJ competition where you're fighting a ton of different guys and you might not even know the guy that you're fighting. So, you know, you have a well, yeah. lot more opportunity to put something together and be a lot more you, prepared. You just let you actually just led into the next question I was going to ask you. BJ, BJJ tournaments, you know, you're probably going to fight or uh, compete three or four or five times in the day. Were you, were you going against one person coming up here? Do you do you care about your opponent in MMA? Do you do you really focus? Do you game plan for that specific opponent? Do you or is basically just you train your butt off as much as you can and at all your facets and and you take the fight as it comes? Yeah, I mean the idea, you know, at least for me, is to uh, study the ins and outs of his style. You know, to really learn his strengths, his weaknesses, uh, how I can get him in the position that I want him in. I want to bring him into my world. I don't want to be in his world. So it's all about setting up, you know, my attacks, um, being able to counter the things that he's good at and bring him into my world. You know, that's, that's ultimately where I want to be. And I think any good fighter should really bring the fight. If you're not studying your opponent and you have the opportunity to do so, you're putting yourself at a huge, huge disadvantage. Gotcha. All right. So here's a here's a nice play question for you. You have the I you have a, a promoter comes up to you and says, you know what, we're gonna put you into the into the um, pantheon. There's no holes barred. Or you can fight. You can you can fight back in the day in, in Pride. Which which one would you pick? <laughs> Fighting uh, Pride with you know with soccer kicks or fighting no holes barred to the death in the in the pantheon in Rome. <laughs> Uh, I would, yeah, man, that's a tough one, you know, with the lions and everything. <laughs> yeah, well, you may not, you may not be getting eaten by lions, but there's no holes barred. When are you gonna die before you get out the <laughs> before you leave? I'm, I might have to go with the pantheon, man, because I've always felt like I was born in the wrong time in history. <laughs> but you know, it's all good. I, I would, I would go either way. You know, war is war. Uh, it's all life and death. Every time you step in the ring. You know, there's there's always that possibility, you know, so sure. it's not uh, it's not the ultimate goal like maybe it was 2000 years ago. But, you know, you still got to you got to go in with that in the back of your mind. You know, well, well I'm, I'm hoping you I hope both of you guys come out, come out, you know, still living after this. You know, but yeah, it's a joke. Absolutely. absolutely. But um, <laughs> you fight you're fighting in your hometown. You were born you born in Maine. Are you excited to be fighting your home, hometown state? Or would you rather be, you know, out of the state or, you know, away from the whole family pressure or hometown, hometown stuff. No, I think, I think it's fantastic. You know, that's part of the reason I came back home was to uh, bring all that, all my information, you know, all the stuff I've learned and, and be able to share that with the people of Maine to help the sport grow here. Um, you know, cause we're 15 years behind everybody else in the country. So, you know, I want to, <laughs> you know, I want to, I really want to help the sport grow and, and do everything I can to be a great ambassador for the sport and a great representative, you know, for, for NEF and, you know, all the, all the, the young people coming up that, that want to take part in the sport. So. 
Very good. So here's, here's, here's I'm going to do my best impersonation of Vince McMahon. What's going to happen on November 17th at the Coliseum at eight, uh, starting at 8 p.m.? What's going to happen se- on Saturday night, November 17th, right, when Jared see- Lauren gets in the ring? Uh, you're going to see some action, man. You're going to see some some crazy submission attempts, some hands flying, some crazy kicks, and you're going to see my hand raised at the end of the fight. So looking forward to having everybody there. And, you know, I want to thank all my sponsors, everybody that helped me out. Uh, too many to name right now, I think. But, um, you know, I, I can't thank everybody enough, my my family, my, my sponsors, everybody. So... And well, you know what? I gotta thank you for coming on and help, help and uh, helping me out. And I uh, wish you the best, November seventeenth. And um, let them know the, the name of your gym and uh, where to find find you guys out. Yeah, it's uh, Innovative Athletics. You can check us out at iabjj.com or Innovative Athletics on Facebook. Um, or stop by. We're at fifty three Coney Street in Augusta, Maine. Um, drop by anytime. We got BJJ, MMA, kickboxing. You know fitness classes they get everything going on so it's a good time very good november 17th at the college get your tickets on uh, the college.com or nef uh, search nef and uh we want to thank jared for coming on real talk sports again and uh wish you the best november 17th all right thank you jamie